Hello everyone, my name is Tim Brown. Welcome back to my Apple Podcast. This is a very short episode. I'm following up with my series on hype. Uh, I just started working on another project and just thought I would share it with you. What you're looking at now is a little project that I set up using hype. I just wanted to create a simple slideshow. And I'm just going to go ahead and just arrow through all the different scenes. And as you can see, I'm doing a little slideshow of my artwork here and I just added arrows to each frame or each scene and I'm using the arrows to as buttons that take me from one scene to the next so if I select on one button you'll see I have it's the scene selected for where I want them to go pretty simple uh, like I showed you before in the last episode I exported my project to my website folder and now I'm gonna go into Dreamweaver and I'm going to show you that this is the HTML file that was generated along with the resource folder that came with the hype project. Now you go into code view, you'll see that all this information here, or it even tells you here, copy these lines to your document in copy. Those lines are encased in div tags. Copy those, copy that code there, go into your project. This is my website here, and I want it to fall in this little window here. I already measured everything out. So I then go into code view and I pasted it. Let me go ahead and let me back up here a little bit. I'm gonna go into design view. I'm just gonna go ahead and select that particular area of content so you can see where it appears. See I just pasted the content right in here. Uh, send it up to my server and now I have a beautiful slideshow that appears on this page. And I must say, I'm very pleased with it. I think this is a great way to add simple slideshow features to your website. Anyway, I told you this would be very short, but I just thought I would share that with you. And... Maybe you'll use Hype for other things. Uh, if you do, if you have other creative ways of using Hype, please let me know. I'll see you next time.